Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Yu. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to log into your email, how to log into class link, and how to log into Google Classroom. These are the first three things that you're gonna need in order to get started with distance learning for my classroom. All right, so first let's log into our email. Now your email address, which is your six digit student ID at my.puh SD, which is Paris Union High School District dot org and your password is going to be the same password that you're going to be using to log into your Chromebook so the first thing we want to do is we want to log into our Gmail account the way to do that is you're going to type in G M A I L dot com or Gmail dot com and it's going to take you to a page that looks like this and then you're going to just type in your student ID number so it could be like, so I put one, two, three, four, five, six at my.puhsd.org. Your student ID is going to be different than this. This is just an example I'm using. And then hit next. And then you're going to type in your password. Now that you have your email account logged in, I'm going to show you how to log into your class link account. Now, class link is the place where you're going to find most of the applications that your teachers will be using to help you learn with distance learning. So the way to get to class link is you want to type in puhsd.org, which is our school district's website. And at the very top, you will notice something that says class link. Go ahead and click on that link that says class link. Once you have that, you should have a, uh, a sign in prompt that looks like this and it's going to ask you to sign in with your Google account. Since you already signed in with your email, it's going to allow you to use that to log in. So once you have that, it's going to give you all of your emails that are logged into your account. You should only have your school email because this is a school computer. So I'm going to use my school email. Mine's a little bit different than yours. And then it will give you access to all of your applications. So I'm going to quickly go over some of these applications. And then I'm going to show you how to get to Google Classroom. The first application you'll notice is something called Infinite Campus. This is the application that you can check your attendance and your grades with. Another application that you're going to be using is something called Google Drive. Your Google Drive is like the storage place that you're going to store all of your school documents. And this is also the place where you're going to find documents that your teachers assigned for you. Now, to log into Google Classroom, the first thing we want to do is we want to click on this thing that says Canvas. Canvas is the place where most of your teachers, if they're using Google Classroom, has saved your Google Classroom access code for you. So go ahead and click on the thing that says Canvas. Once you have that clicked, it's going to ask you to log in with your Gmail account one more time. So go ahead and click on that. Once you logged into Canvas, it's going to show you a bunch of different classes that you are a part of, a bunch of classes that your counselors has enrolled you in. So you're going to find period one science, if you're in my period one science class, or period one English class, period one history class, whatever class you're in, you're going to click on that. And that's going to take you to either your class itself, where your teachers will be uploading documents onto Canvas, or in my case, I'm gonna be using Google Classroom. So if you're in period one, you're gonna find your period. If you're in period three, four, whatever, you're gonna find your period, and you're gonna find a code that's right next to it. It's gonna be a seven digit code. You're going to highlight it and then copy that code. You're gonna copy it. And then you're going to click on the link that's up here. Once you're in there, it's going to take you back to your Canvas applications, and you're going to find the one that says Google Classroom. Once you get to your Google Classroom, if you look at the very top, you'll see a plus sign. Go ahead and click on the plus sign, and then click Join Class. And in this box right here, you're going to paste in the code for your class. So if you got period one, type in this code. If you got another period, type in the code that's associated with that period. Once again, to get those 
codes, just look at the table and find which period you are and copy the right code. It's really important that you select the right code. So if you're in period one, don't take this code because that's for period seven. If you're in period six, don't use period one's code, use period six code, all right? So that's how you log into Google Classroom using the code. Once you have it in there, you can just hit the join button and it's gonna enroll you in the class. Bye, Bye boys and girls. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>